We've looked at techniques for making basic shapes look more complicated by combining them or using them to cut away one shape from another. There's also a way that you can create vector artwork without having to use any of those tools and get Illustrator to convert a, a pixel based image into vector artwork, which is what we'll look at next. So on this poster design, you'll notice that we have a couple of social media icons on there. We have a gap in between the Instagram and Facebook symbols. We need to add Twitter. Now on the face of it, it might seem like, oh yeah, I'll just get hold of a Twitter symbol from somewhere, but it can be a little bit more challenging than it first seems. It may be that a colleague has a file that is maybe a JPEG or something like that. So let me show you an example of a pixel based file in Adobe Photoshop. Here we have such a file. Now this is in the info folder. This one's called social media JPEG. Now, because it's made of pixels, it's a JPEG file as well. It's stuck to a white background. We don't want a white background with our artwork. We want to be able to take just the, uh, the, the symbol of Twitter in there and use it against our poster design. So this image is no good for being used for that purpose, but it can be used as the basis to create new artwork from. So if I go back to Illustrator, what we can do is import that graphic into Illustrator. I'm going to make sure that the titles layer is active in the layers panel. I'll then go to file. And again, if you're going to bring in any external data into Illustrator, place is the command that you tend to go to. It takes us back to the info folder from here. You'll see that we have that file social media.jpg. And then it's important to turn on the link checkbox whenever you bring in any external artwork in, because if you don't, that will embed that artwork. If it's a, if it's an image file that's five megabytes in size, then it will make your Illustrator file become five megabytes bigger in size as well. The link will just give us that artwork as a reference. It will show us the artwork and it will be part of the document, but it's not importing and storing all that data inside of your Illustrator file. So it's important to make sure you turn on. I will click on place and then that appears as a thumbnail next to your cursor. So I'm just going to hover my cursor just to the side of the artboard and left click just to drop it in there. And then I will use the space bar just to pan. And I'm going to drag that just off the side in there because I don't want to interact with anything on the artboard. It's a nice empty space to work with for now. And from here then, rather than picking up a, a drawing tool or a shape and combining together as we saw in previous videos, we're going to get Illustrator to trace this for us. You'll notice then that if I go to the properties panel, there is an option for image trace. When I left click on that, it will give you a list of uh, preset types of ways that you can trace pixel based artwork. I'm going to choose black and white logo. And what we're seeing here is vector artwork. It's part of what's called a, a tracing group. It's two shapes, essentially. There's a black shape for the logo and the, it has traced the white background as well. It's done a, a pretty good job. In order for us to be able to dispense with the white background, we need to go to the button at the bottom of the properties panel in here under quick actions called expand. Now, what that will do when I click on it is it will dispense with the original JPEG. It will disconnect the link to it, removes it from the document, and we're left with just the vector artwork. And you'll also then need to go down to the quick actions again and choose ungroup because it will be all grouped together and keep clicking on ungroup until you see the command for group in there. And we know that we've ungrouped that as far as we possibly can. I'll then click to the side of that artwork to deselect, hover over the white, left click, and then hit the backspace key or the delete key on the keyboard to remove that. We don't need it. Um, if I click on this, this is now a vector object. Um, I can go across and change the fill color, for example, to white. So the only thing that really remains then is to resize this and put it adjacent to the other two uh, social media icons. Over here, I'm going to make sure the link is turned on for the width and height. And then for the height, swipe over that value in there, type in five and press return, which you know, gets it to the right size. But it's so small that there is the danger that if you try now and drag it down to the bottom of the artboard that you do things like this and you stretch it instead. So if I go to edit and choose undo scale, my suggestion is that at this point, go to edit and choose cut. Don't worry, all will be fine. Pick up your zoom tool and then zoom in to where those other logos are and then go to edit 
and choose paste. And that's a much easier way of getting artwork, which is quite small, to um, to be repositioned somewhere in a document and saving you the agony of stretching and distorting it by accident. I'll switch to my selection tool. I'll hover over and shift and left click on the other two symbols at the side. So all three are selected. And then I'm going to go down to the align options, change the mode, which was set to align to artboard previously, change it to align to selection. And I'll choose align uh, vertical align bottoms, which basically means align to the bottom edge. Now, there are other options that are missing in here. And I'm going to click on the ellipses, the three dots in there, just to show those options. Now, to make sure that the, the space between those is even as well, then we have what are called distribution options in here, distribute objects. So I'm going to choose to distribute them from left to right, horizontally, from their centers. So it'll reference the center of each of those objects and distribute the space between them equally. And it was only a tiny nudge, but um, it does make a difference. And then I'll click away to deselect and go to view and then choose fit artboard in window. And then I'll go to file and I'll choose save. 